Hey guys, TI Freak here, and uh, going to do a little bit of a program review regarding the FXCG10 versus the FXCG50 and using its onboard basic programming. As you can see, I've got my Age of Darkness game loaded up in here. And there seems to be a few slight inconsistencies here as one program on the older model is slightly larger than the one on the newer. And if we scroll down to here, let me get this a little more centered up here, you can see there's a significant change in size there as well. So I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time seeing what kind of differences there are. Um, I do know that the overall game itself does attempt to work. So we are going to see the speed differences here. And as you can see, I didn't even get a chance to select anything from the on the new calculator. It just moves that fast. So we'll do scroll left to right. As you can see, it's just so much faster. just blazes across the screen well this one's not slow by any means this one just it's kind of like the difference between a TI-83 and a TI-84 plus CE um, I noticed one of the issues when I was goofing around earlier is that the prism program will work with that and it just takes you back to that screen there so I'm gonna have to fiddle around with that and see what's wrong but, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll take a little bit of time that we won't go over here. Um, but, yeah, let's oops, get my finger out of the way. You can see how much faster that loaded up. Almost instantly down. I'd say there's probably a 50% uh, increase in speed. Maybe a little less, but it's considerably faster. I don't know, can we... Yeah, I mean, it was... Let's see how fast that thing just drops it up there. So, Alright, that's what we're doing with this. Just wanted to show off the basic capabilities of this calculator for the review going up on Chemitech. I'll catch you guys later.